They'll be calling you a radical. Oh, they just had me. Can you believe it? USA Today right out there with a brand new article about the, how about this article? Oh, the new radiation is going to hit in 2014. Oh, CNN, why is it worse? It's worse because of CNN. It's malice, it's malice, it's malice, it's malice. And if you don't believe me, here's, this is not 9-11, this is 3-11. And you guys, I'll tell you where, you're wrong this time about 9-11 as the New York Times, as Naomi Wolf comes out after the fact, as what's his name, Hedges comes out after the fact. Five, six, seven years later, we come out as it was unfolding. You're not going to pull this off right in your face as we recorded it in detail. How but you knew, you knew, and I'll tag this right here. CNN's Dog and Pony Show. Such a goop to MD. Do I forgive him? I don't know. Jesus Christ said, "Forgive them, for they know not what they do." That was the people killing him. You mass murders. Oh, chemicals, weapon, weapons of mass destruction. You war mongering Republican pieces of dog shit make me sick. Every last one of you. How can anybody, you know? The America says, oh, crimes against humanity. Are you kidding? How could any American even say crime against humanity? As this Rumsfeld and Cheney, you got to speak it for CNN, you could say, I'll tell you why it's worse than we thought. Because of CNN, the fourth branch of government. <laughs> you pathetic pieces of shit. You're going to land in prison cells this time. For real. For real. People can say all they want about me, how I've approached this. But this is the biggest cover up in human. This isn't 9-11. You know, hyperbole spin. This isn't conspiracy hyperbole spin. Oh, the Illuminati, the Illuminati, hey, you fucking retarded lunatics. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there's bloodlines. There's bloodlines. It's all through your bloodlines, family bloodlines of this, from nuclear fallout. Yeah, you're born with it. Your kids are born with it. And it's piling on, piling on. Fukushima is the greatest ecological disaster in the history of humanity. Nobody wanted to talk about it. We screamed, Jill, CNN, not. And I call this black and yellow journalism. Another one of my two, science fiction economics. One of mine, so many of these are mine. These, this is not yellow journalism. This is the opposite of black and yellow. When you should be afraid, they don't tell you the truth. This is the protection of the nuclear cartel, the DOE, the Department of Energy cartel. Sanjay, how I, oh, I keep going off on Sanjay Gupta. He's a neurosurgeon, practicing, practicing. This is a man, Nominated to be the Surgeon General. He turned it out because I don't want to give up my practice. That's against the law. It's malpractice. It's malice. He's going to go down so hard on this. People say, oh, he's a piece of dog shit. This is the 26th of March, 2011. He did this. You read this and you tell me if this is not malice. He was over there. They knew. They knew in detail. We got to come out now. And this fact, oh, it's going to, it's going to, what's going to happen, what could happen, when happened, when? It already happened. It's just like, it's Labor Day, it's Labor Day. How, how, how do you celebrate? We go in mourning. I'm going over tomorrow for Labor Day. There's a group of us are going to do a march. We're going to march over to a factory right here. We're going to lay flowers at the tombstones. At, they killed us. They, and the mass murderers who killed us, we put up on pedestals. You think about these oligarchs and their children. Think about Woody Johnson, his daughter. Think, I mean, you go on and on. Think about that piece of shit T-Bone Pickett, that piece of filth dog shit. Look at his grandkids. Look at all of them. I mean, they're scum. They're scum. The nuclear cartel, they're scum. And you guys just sit back and let them do it to you. Not me. Not me. As I'm full of cancer, and this law has turned morphed into something so much different. As my post ignorance different is morphed into such detail. Look, when I do these videos, I get intimate. I let you in my ham. I let you in my life. And I tell these intimate stories about my family and me for a reason. For a very good reason. There is definitely a method behind my madness. Because we have dehumanized humanity. You know, for all of you, you, you don't care. The news, you read off a teleprompter with hairspray on. Oh, the worst ecological disaster. The sea lions are dying. The dolphins are dying. The two-legged beer drinking mammals. Let's check the weather now. You don't care. You don't care. So I was talking to a guy yesterday. His dad. I, I'm like, your dad died at 62 right in our hospital AML. Still don't care about it. That, that, I mean, that's how disconnected all of you are. You can send your jobs to slaves in China. That don't matter to you. Oh, but oh, God forbid the antebellum South slave. They're both sickening. They're grotesque. Slavery's grotesque. You, usury-based economy. You don't care. You know, buy here, pay here. 500% interest rates here. Jesus Christ threw the money changers out of the temple. How do you not get this? How do you not? It's just like, oh, you bitch about labor. You bitch about labor as they've murdered us. And then they walk. We put them up on pedestals. Steve Chinese jobs. He says the jobs are never coming back. The only thing coming, never coming back is Steve Chinese jobs. Oh, they're coming back. Yeah, after these echo boomer baby boomers are all dead, which is going to happen much sooner than we thought. Fukushima, Fukushima, nuclear fall is cancer. It's been here the whole time. Oh, what's going to happen? It could happen. It happened. The nuclear nightmare that we thought and we said 
could it possibly happen in this country? We always said, of course, it happened Chernobyl. Remember they told us, oh, it can't happen, it won't happen. We don't have that discussion. And remember this, by international law, by United States law, all nuclear reactors all over the world, which TEPCO is General Electric, and the United States is running the show. The United States is Japan. Do you forget the treaty signed after World War II? I mean, come on. We are they. Well, not we. We are the victims. This is the United States of General Electric. And I will say this, a guy asked me this right here. Kevin, if you had one thing you could say to Barack Obama, what would you say? Your mother was a down rebender. Show some fucking respect. Show some fucking respect for your mother. Entomb this fucking thing. Show some respect for your fucking children. Show your respect for some people as a person. I get intimate because I don't want to be de How? Everybody, you're dehumanized. You walk around with hairspray, you're, oh, look at me. I drive a star, I have a styrofoam mansion and I drive a car. Uh, really? Really? That's who the fuck you are? There's nothing personal about people anymore. There's nothing, maybe because you think it's all abstract. You don't think you get cancer. Oh, yeah, so and so died of cancer. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Well, you know, you guys going to, where are you guys going to dinner tonight? Oh, yeah, we're going to go to Vegas. Oh, do you know so and so X died of cancer? She was 30. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like your hair. Where'd you get your nails done? You know, oh, who's your plastic surgeon? Oh, you are, oh what? Yeah. I mean, it's pathetic. You're dehuman. Dehuman. Oh, chemical war? I mean, who's using chemicals on who? General Electric is using chemicals on us. The United States of General Electric, of nuclear, are using chemical weapons on their own people, their kids, their children. Plume Gate, as Tony calls it, which is beautiful. I call it Pacific Genocide. What the fuck is the matter with you fucking people? This isn't going to happen, it's happening. And you think my number, it's killing over a thousand people a day, is off the top? Cancer survival rate was going like this till nine months after Fukushima. It started headed the other way. It's dramatic. It's dramatic. My number, 1,000 people a day, is so low in North America. You know, stand by, stand by, September 28th, I'll be in Washington Square. And let me tell you something about labor rights. There's only one tool, there's only ever been one tool. You want a bitch, and you want a bitch as we go lay flowers at the tombstones. And you put these oligarchs on thing. You all bitch, you all bitch, and you all bitch till so somebody mentions tariffs. Talk to Hamilton about tariffs. Talk to McKinley about tariffs. Talk to Abraham Lincoln about tariffs. Talk to Franklin Roosevelt about tariffs. Talk about John Kennedy about tariffs. Oh yeah, Bill, as he betrayed us. Greatest Republican in the history of the Queen. Bill Queen Clinton. Sick you. Tariffs. It's the only tool. Fukushima could be entombed. We're gonna have to use moles. The Army's got to go in and the Navy's got to go Same mules they dug Yucca Mountain. They already should have been there. Digging in, is it too late? Yeah, for so many it's too late. We've done so much. I mean, yeah, it probably is too late for so much. But do we just sit back and just go and go and go? Moles dug underneath, inside the ocean, with the Navy dive teams, mole ender, mole from a mile away, up underneath. Get up there and capture those cores. I mean, God only knows. You might have to go miles down by now. Can you believe they allowed this going 900 something days? It just shows you what liars, in violation of American law, in violation of state law, in violation of international law. By law, remember they had it? By law, they have to. Just like by law, it was supposed to be in Yucca Mountain by 1982. What a cartel of lying fuckers, they make me sick. It's not happening, going to happen, happen. The plume's been hitting us every single fucking day. In the water, Fucking marine biologists, you scummy fuckers. May God have mercy on your fucking souls. You are last. Every marine biologist in this country and every department, may God have mercy on your fucking souls. Stay in tune.